date irrelevant. All right, what do we got here? Treasure map, compass, invocation, vanguard, burning sun. Oh my god, every single rare is playable. Okay, well that's a good start to things. Three very good multicolor cards. Three contract killings, but black otherwise looks pretty bad. <laughs> Three to rest too. Green looks nice as well. Can splash for like pious and binding. This is actually not bad in our deck. I think I like splashing the white cards here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? The Rontadon's really good with a triple uh, Diviner. All right, let's make sure I'm not missing anything very obvious here. I could also play this Shining Aerosaur. This is... Almost certainly we're splashing for. I'm already playing white. Uh, I don't know if I have enough dinos for the thrash, though, in all honesty. We can just play the, the other dinos as just good cards, but this is going to be um, hill giant a lot of the time, so I don't mind cutting it as a more filler creature. I think I'm actually going to cut the Keeper here. I think it's worse than the Diviners in our deck. Daggertooth also pretty fillery if I'm not going to run the Thrash for the Synergy. I think I probably can cut one Pounce since I'm already splashing for a good white removal already, and I just think Binding and Pious are better than Pounce anyways. Maybe I can cut one New Horizons? Go like this. Oh, there's a zero percent chance I'm going to cut the Blossom Dread. We're running at least one of the New Horizons, and exactly Maze of Ith, GG. With four Diviners, is sixteen lands. I don't think I want to do that. I think I'd rather just play it safe. Right, but the map is three mana to activate. Oh, sorry, the compass is three mana to activate. What's the 7 drop in for? It's good with my Diviners. It's just a fine top end card. I mean, if I had a Colossal Dreadmaw, I would run it instead. But. I mean, in all honesty, maybe Shapers of Nature is a better splash than the Belligerent Brontodon. No joke. I could definitely see this being correct, too. In fact, maybe I just run it anyways. I 
Honestly, what if I cut the Fathom Fleet, which is a premium 2-drop, but go like this instead? I'd almost want to get in that second New Horizons if I'm doing this. Um... I think I might try this. No, I think rummaging is really solid. God, I have a surprising amount of uh, Explorer, don't I? Five Explorer cards? Six Explorer cards, even? If you count that. I don't actually think I need the second New Horizons. I want it, but I just, I don't think it's, I don't think there's a worse card. What, isn't Rummaging Goblin better with Explore? Then you have extra lands to loot away? I feel like it's the opposite of what you just said. Dryad for the second New Horizons. <sighs> Dryads is so good though with the uh, Maze of Ith. But maybe, yeah, it could be possible that the New Horizons is just better because it's better fixing overall. I don't mind trying that. It's awkward. No, God. Especially when you're adding another New Horizons, the Blossom Dryad is just too good. I'm pretty sure I don't want 16 lands. But it's true. Triple Diviner, Drover, and a compass and a map. Okay, you know, you know what? Maybe I can get away with 16 lands. I don't like it, but I'm going to do it. Nine, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I don't quite know if Unknown Shores is actually worth. I guess it probably is. Right, but a ramp is not a land on turn three when you need a third land. No, I, I cannot function without forests. I think we need as many forests as I've put in. I don't care for this card. I just think it's another fine top end card in this style of deck. Like I mentioned, if I had a Colossal Dreadmaw, I would be running it instead. But it's also especially fine with the Triple Diviners, right? Like, almost all of our creatures benefit from the belligerent or just have no effect at all. I think this deck is very good. Our removal quality is high. Pounce, Strike, Stomp, Binding, Interdiction, Burning Sun. Our creature quality is very high. Our mana is pretty decent. I need one island so that I can tutor it up with uh, compass. Otherwise, my only way to hit blue would be from the double horizon canopies. Oh, I guess I have the unknown shores as well. I'm not going to strike that for many reasons.
16 land flood, 16 land flood, 16 land flood, 16 land flood. Do. Well, I was just going to strike the Kapala, but I guess we're going to guard up the van. Oh yeah, how good is that? <laughs> Four mountains in my deck, draw three of them. Come on, Worth. got trickies. I'm going to pass priority if they double block the vanguard. Oh, they just didn't block. Sure. Well, can't lose. Could definitely bring in the second pounce versus Merfolk since their creatures are generally pretty small, but I think our deck is decent enough. Snap. Again, two of my four mountains, of course, but we'll hit a forest. Ooh, baby! <laughs> this is why you put a lot of green sources in your deck, kids. Oh, come on! That's not even real. This variance. What? Well, we're dead. That was fun. God. <laughs> please, please, next turn, please. <laughs> oh, come on, man. And now they're just going to flash in their 3 3. Nine forests in the deck. Can't find one in the top uh, 12 cards. Seems legit. Comical. Comical that we draw our third of four mountains there. Comical. Need a land, don't need a pounce. That'll work. So the only reason I wouldn't put it on the Unknown Shores is that now if I don't draw another, uh, now if I don't draw another red source, I won't be able to cast Burning Sun when I have seven mana. 
but I think this is okay to do. I'm not going to use Lightning Strike if they double block my Vanguard. I'm just going to let the trade happen. Wait, what? Don't need that. Dude, this deck is nice. Ooh, that's good. I think I'm just going to wipe their board. Oh, I guess I could have held up another treasure. Whoops. <laughs> Whatever. Missing scries. Wah. How about, how's that for BM? This deck makes me happy. Happy. Tutang, how did you guys do in Prov? I saw you guys were doing okay at the beginning. Or maybe I'm misremembering and sorry. Sorry, Pius. Sorry, Pi Pi. Is a one four good versus a three one? Damn, that was the Premier turn to draw my New Horizons. I don't think it was worth lightning striking there. But now the downside is if they just do something irrelevant this turn 
I don't get to Raging Sword Tooth, kill the raptor and get in. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, man, gain your two. Dece. Yeah, man, gain your two. That's about as much life as you'll ever see a ravenous dagger tooth gain. Four. <laughs> gonna hit me? Don't scare me like that, man. I ain't ready for this. Uh, I'm not going to attack into Bright Reprisal mana, even if they don't have it. Looked like they were F6. I'm not in a rush. I will attack this turn, though. Yeah, gain two, bro. As long as I'm still at 20, everything is A-OK, -okay, mate. I think they were F6 last time. All right, I'm going to attack into your Bright Reprisal this time. Nice. And not even worth Not even worth. Somebody been keeping track on this ravenous dagger tooth? Is that eight life now? Whew! Whoa! The chain! Oh my god, that's insane! Drover or Compass? I guess I'll take a Maze of Ith. No, no, don't scoop! We're having fun! Jesus. Jesus! I can't get away from mountains, can I? I just draw them every single game. Oh, you only have four in your deck? Let me give you all of them. Ooh. I see you know the Drover. Missing land drops, eh? Think I'm not above this? Taste it. Taste it. Taste the screw. Ugh, I don't even want it, but it's a good card, so whatever. Actually, this is fine. I 
I was considering waiting, because Burning Sun on the 3-2 means they don't have a good block. But Also, why doesn't this have Trample? Makes no sense. Take seven. Sorry, OP. Bad luck, my friend. All right, BRB. Mm. Oosh. Got some ribs in the slow cooker. It's going to taste good in eight hours. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Does this deck work? How dare you question? Wouldn't be surprising if we lose one match to screw. Of course, that is always possible. This deck puts in hard work, I'll have you know. Is this too slow? Excuse me? Excuse me? How dare you? This stream, on the other hand, does look sketchy, no doubt. The only thing I ever want to do is have a turn two Ixali's Diviner. If we have a turn two Diviner, then everything is great. See, this could be a problem if I don't hit a third land. GG. Uh, I guess it's better to map. It doesn't accelerate you, it just finds a land. I'm gonna bin the 
Aerosaur, even though we already can cast it in hand. Hitting there was really important, because being able to trade it with a schooner is real nice. Okay, so I'm gonna scry here. I'll put that on top, and then I'll draw the land. Oh, sure, it accelerates you from seven to eight, but. <laughs> Ew. Okay, that's bad. That's bad for us. Probably need that. Oh, hasty? Oh. Upkeep. Uh, we'll keep that. Because now our thematic compass is going to transform here as well. What? That's pretty sweet. We get a turn early on the spires because the treasure cro uh, cove is a land. You have another fatty? Not like this. Not like this. Play out the drover too. And after we after we've dumped our hand, the sunbird should get us back. I am scared of a sure strike or a crash the ramparts. Okay, well this is just great for us. We get to double block. And then if they have a trick, we get to neuter it. But if we're just trading, that's also good for us. Happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. That menace creature could have been really problematic with more creatures on their battlefield. They might just be triggering raid, of course, but... If they don't have a follow-up creature here... Damn, they do. Okay, well, that's not too problematic. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten. All right, so we're going to take four next turn, but we can maybe get a hit here. Nope, that's unfortunate. We get two draws next turn at a spell. I fall down to six here. Stabilize, hold. Okay, that's good. I don't want 
like that. Oh, what? Come on! There was time! Oh! Okay, I'll take one again. I need to hit a spell now. I have a lot of good draws. Okay, that's not bad. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Oh, I could get Blossoming Dryad too for the Spires, but I think the Shapers is better here, right? Okay. That was good. That was good. Pre-combat. Oh, that's fine. Well, do they have a good all-out attack? If they have unfriendly fire, shoot. They're playing to unfriendly fire, it looks like. Two, four, six, seven. Ugh, that's so gross. I lose to unfriendly fire. Oh, for some reason I thought I had one more mana than I actually did. Letting him keep the Registrar might have been a big mistake. Whoops. They do? Oh, that's irrelevant. Okay, shoo. Alright, well now we can draw a card off of our Ixalis. Hold. I do not, I believe. We have three contract killings, yeah, but no mark of the vamp. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. The problem is this card. Oh, I only have 10 cards left in my deck. Oh, shoot. Shoot. That's bad that all three of my best cards are on the bottom now. Okay. So I need to... I need to get those back. Because I need to find the binding for the Suncrowned Hunters. That's my out. So the bottom three cards, in random order, are all absurd.
Do I have to just fight that? Or do I wait for the binding? I think I wait for the binding. Okay, that's good. So we put two lands on the bottom. Like, I will kill them in short order once we find that binding. If they pump, then I pump my vanguard in response. Okay, so I have two lands on bottom, and the next three cards are Burning Sun, Ixalan's Binding, and I don't remember what the last unknown was, but... Okay, there's the Burning Sun. I can still draw another card here and hit the Binding. Okay, so the Binding's the very next card. No, it's a May. I'm okay. Oh, you're right. I would have been able to cast the binding off of the Burning Suns. Whoops. You're 100% right. Shoot, that might actually cost me. No, we should still be okay here. Oh, it explores! No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We still win next turn. We still win very easily next turn. No, no, no. We're still we're, we're still winning this turn. We're fine. We're dealing 1 million damage to them. <laughs> I did not play that optimally. I will say that. That is for sure. All I needed to do was, once I hit the Burning Sun's avatar off of the uh, Shapers of Nature draw, I just needed to cast the Burning Sun, because you guys are 100% right. It would have revealed the Binding. And then I would have not only killed their... Uh, 
I guess it would have been a nest robber or the the raptor hatchling, but the binding then would have taken care of the 5-4. The right, this is not draw a card. I won't lose if I have no cards in my library and this hits. Sounds great. Again, all I ever want to do, turn to Diviner. Easy. Helps that I have perfect mana now and can cast every single card in my deck. Two, two? All right, let's hit a one, four. Darn. Whenever this hits as a 1-4, it just blocks everything in the first, like, four turns. Okay, it doesn't block that. Not doing anything now, that's good. Yeah, I mean, now we're scrying and then drawing extra cards. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Classic. <laughs> uh, if you double enchant the same land, it doesn't actually do anything with the uh, New Horizons. It would just give the the uh, land 10 abilities. It would give the land the ability to tap for two of each color twice. Turn two diviner? Oh yeah. Again, just another great hand. Look at this hand, it wheels, it deals, it slices and dices. Keep a triple red card? Hell yeah, I am. Well, I initially underrated the card just to begin with. Might get a turn 5 Burning Sun's Avatar if I hit a land next turn. Beautiful.
Well, you do know I'm drawing this, unless you didn't look at... What's up, bro? Chumba Wumba time. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just kill you on turn six with this deck. <laughs> huh? Uh, it's not necessary, it's just nice to have another top end card since I don't have any others in this deck, or in this form, or pool, rather. Hey! Calm down, bro. Yeah, this is this is one of the cooler sealed pools I've had in this format. And this is one of those risky keeps. Nine forests in the deck, I'm on the draw. Bingo. Bingo. Bongo. No, I think it was a very easy keep on the draw. I legit just can't lose. Actually, Sword Tooth here is a little bit risky. If I play Sword Tooth and then they bounce at end of turn, I lose my Drover of the Mighty. Wow, they don't even have the 3-3 three, three flash. What are they doing? I don't know what's happening. Yeah, can't maze a myth if they don't have a creature. Thinking, thinking. Eight. 
Can almost kill him this turn by lightning striking their face. Alright, I can put him to 8 here. Then I can play Sword Tooth Fight. No, that doesn't work, never mind. Don't listen to me. Expected. I had the win if they didn't have anything. Again, I don't want to make the Raging Sword Tooth play and potentially get my Drover killed. What's up, Frogler? Welcome to the Num 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 Sub Club, my friend. Thank you for that Twitch Prime sub. River's Rebuke. Okay. I just don't think there was a reason to throw away my 3-3 potentially if they had a bounce spell. That's for you, Frogler. Thank you. Uh, no, they bounced my Pius. They could definitely attack. No, I don't mind just running out the creature. Help. Wait, did I reveal a plains? No, I reveal a forest. Yeah, 16 lands in the deck. Treasure map should help, though. Oh, you're right. I did have... I had the Spires of Araska anyways. Yeah. I'm actually just going to bind the flagship right now.
Now, as much as I don't want it to transform, our com compass is going to transform since the uh, treasure cove is also a land now. Maybe I shouldn't have played out my island, actually. That might have been a mistake on my part. 100% might have been a mistake playing out the extra land and not just thinning my deck more. But, I mean, I'm going to be drawing multiple cards a turn here. <laughs> Dude, this deck, man. I tell you, this deck, man. Just give me this deck every single time. Oh, no. We might actually have a mulligan here. Ah, it's so close. If this was a forest, I would keep on the draw. All right, there it is. Turn two, Diviner. Sorry, Shaper. <laughs> yeah, we just put up both artifacts every single time. Feels like. This is what I can lose to, a flyer. Thankfully, they didn't hit it as a 2-3. Uh, Play the third land here and then attack for one. Make them think you have a crash the ramparts or something. Put the fear into them. That could be an issue. Although I wouldn't mind them just paying four to take my excuse me wayfinder for the turn. Fire cannon blast. Okay, I'll take five. Hmm. <laughs> I'll chump this turn if they attack and don't steal. Hmm. I'm gonna lose to like a dive down though. If they have a way to protect their captivating crew, we're in bad shape. Yeah, lightning strike would be great. Oh, remember that bluff attack I made on turn three? They might think I have the uh, have the crash the ramparts. Remember when I attacked my one four into their one two? I think that's what they're considering right now. That would be amazing if that attack paid off dividends on this turn.
Yes, this is 100% super awkward. I understand that, but pious interdiction is not a good answer to captivating crew. In fact, all it does is just make it a good enchantment. No! Well, crap. Now I can't shoot. This resolves. GG. <laughs> and I get to flip my thematic compass. Oh, baby. <laughs> Uh, feels good, man. <laughs> feels good, man. No! I counted my dude. Yo, what's up, the panda bear? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the num 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 sub clip. Thank you for that Twitch Prime sub, my friend. Chesty for you, my bestie. Ooh. I don't think that's worth anything, though. Did they scoop? Ah, they scooped! All right. Well, we lost one game, but uh, that is a delicious, delicious 5-0 deck. Man, can I just keep running this back? Just forever? <laughs>